All right, I'm here in front of a case that shows skulls with trepanation. I have seen the same procedure displayed in ancient Ireland when I was visiting. They talked about trepanation. Now here are some of the tools that they were using, apparently. This is from the Americas. And having a brief discussion and seeing some things previously online, they did this. They thought someone had some illness. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that one. Look at that skull. That one's a little elongated. So are all of these. So huh, not quite a normal skull, in my opinion. So... I was trying to find out if it had anything to do with the head binding. Nobody's really thought of it, but let's take a good look at that. Look at that skull. It is a tad elongated. Same thing for that. You know, the things that we've talked about in the past with my work. Yeah, all of them. Look at them. They all seem a tad elongated from a nice round skull. And the eye sockets are kind of round, but this one has some rectangular to it. Same thing for that. So very interesting. There is some elongation in my opinion on these skulls, which makes me wonder. The sutures are pretty clear, though. It makes me wonder if this was caused by head bindings. They also said if someone had mental illness, they would do it. Now, there's a picture. I don't know what that is, some skull, what they're doing there. Come and visit the museum. You can see all about it. It's a video. I don't want to take too much. That's their, theirs. But you can see um, what they're doing for surgery. Interesting. Okay, let's take a look at what it says over here. Talks about archaeological evidence indicates the trephining or Boreholing is likely the oldest surgery with a strong presence among the prehistoric peoples of what is today the Republic of Peru. Very interesting. We have redheads in Peru and head binding. And we had trepanation over in ancient Ireland with a lot of redheads there. It says a number of the skulls on display in this case date to about 2000 BC and were excavated from burial sites on the Peru. Rockus Peninsula along the per Peruvian coast. While it has been used to treat an array of neurological disorders throughout human history, it is not known if the procedure held a ritualistic, magical, or therapeutic function among prehistoric peoples. In the 1950s, the Peruvian surgeon Francisco Grena endeavored to put the argument to rest by performing a modern medical procedure, cleaning a pool of blood or subdural hematoma off the surface of a patient's injured brain using ancient trephining instruments. The su successful surgery made global news and demonstrated that the practice may indeed have been of medical merit to ancient people. Okay, so they had axes and, and chisels and scraping tools to do this. Now, come on out. You could read more. I don't want to do, give too much of it away. Chicago International Surgical Museum. Look at those tools. Wow. Uh, my opinion, based on the things I have seen taking an anatomy class and, and looking at skulls, and these skulls are somewhat elongated and may have had something else going on as well. That is my opinion. 
Uh, I'm not a forensic doctor, but just looking at things, I do feel there was some kind of head binding elongation procedure done on these. And then they had trephining, trepanation. It's interesting to me. You know, I don't know if that was a woman, that one's a little smaller. You know, it's all the top. It doesn't matter what side. Now there's one in the back. So very interesting to see that.